Hello ladies and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. Today I have four different fall DIYs to share with you that I will be placing on top of my kitchen cabinets. For the sake of time, I did put one together. I placed American Moss inside. Both tins were purchased from Michael's 70% off sale. I will be using three different picks with berries and the wispy greens. Now I always make sure again to weave my florals together so that it will get that more natural look. Placing in those sweet berries. I love how the wispy green greens gives it a different type of depth. And then I'm going to tuck some weed in on the side. And there we have it. Two sweet arrangements to go on top of the cabinets. Now my next arrangement will be this small basket that I purchased from Michaels again during their 70% off sale. I filled it with the mosses. We'll be placing hydrangeas and berries. And three different pumpkins as well. love working with baskets that have handles on them because you can do just about anything with them. I'm going to start pulling out some of the moss.
up for that berry. And there it is, short and sweet. Now these canisters, I love them. I collect them for my kitchen. And every chance I get, I keep adding. I'm gonna be filling them today with some lentils and some red beans and split peas. Try to make sure that they're level. I have to make sure that I don't get the beans too high because I'm going to place a candle in there. I really love the red on the green. I wish I could add a little bit more of the red, but it would just take it too high. The candle couldn't fit. I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyways. There we go, two more. Get them placed just right, and then I'll show you how they look when I turn the candles on. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Love these canisters. Maybe I'll get more for Christmas.
and for my final project I have this fabulous embossed metal pumpkin I purchased from at home love all the detail on this there was only one thing I was not caring for and that was all the white so I'm gonna share with you a technique to wash out some of this white and add warmth I will be using Annie Sloan's Dark Wax and a Boar's Hair Round Brush. You just apply it on however thick you want, just all over. And then once you get it all placed on, you just go over with a cloth and you wipe it off, making sure that no streaks of wax are left behind. You can put on however many layers you want. In this case, I'm doing two because I'm really trying to warm up the white. Some pieces will still come through, but the majority will be warmed up. There's no wrong way of doing it. And if you find that, that it's getting too dark, you just simply apply more wax and that wax will help remove the previous wax. Just keep wiping, making sure there's no streaks. I really should have been wearing gloves. It's a very waxy, sticky feel on the fingers. It's not too pleasant. Okay, so as you can see, down in the left corner, I put on two coats and just the one up on top, so I will add another. Just gives it a gorgeous, warm, copper look. As you can see, as we go to the right, there is more and more white that's being shown. It's 
coming along nicely. Very rich. Trying to get some more of that white. Looking good. And there we have it, nice and warm. I'm in love with this piece. Good job. And now on to the kitchen. I felt the need for a corner pumpkin patch to brighten things up. In the back, those are placemats. Use different ceramic pumpkins and gourds and baskets. I layered plates. There's those roosters. That wonderful, wonderful pumpkin print. Layers of pumpkins again. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the top of these cabinets, I don't have lighting up there, so I had to add like five different sets of string lighting to brighten it up because it's really dark up there. <laughs> 